So here's the deal. I'll whip up a little potion to make you human for three days. Got that? Three days. It wasn't hard for Melissa McCarthy to understand that the original Ursula from the 1989 animated version of The Little Mermaid was inspired by the legendary drag queen, Divine. Melissa actually paid homage to Divine in 2017 for an Entertainment Weekly photo shoot. On the red carpet for the new live action version of The Little Mermaid starring Melissa, she gladly admitted to the Hollywood reporter that drag queens have always been part of her world. I think all of my roles, I take inspiration from drag queens for, I've been stealing from drag queens for years. And Melissa told Extra that the art form actually saved her when she was starting out her career in the 1990s and she wanted to be a stand-up comedian. I could not do it as myself. I didn't even understand how to do it. Her friend, shoe designer Brian Atwood, suggested that she create a drag persona. I went on as Miss Y and then I could tell any story I wanted to. So it gave me that facade and that armor that I needed to, to go out and and be, be who I wanted to be for that night. And 30 years later, Melissa is one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. So having that drag influence be part of her take on Ursula was not a stretch for the actress. And not just any kiss, the kiss of true love. I have loved drag queens since I was in high school. I think they're, it's one of the most joyful, reverent, funny, fantastic uh, sources of entertainment. We've been doing it since we've been telling stories. It's since the beginning of time. So then later on the red carpet, when Melissa ran into Nina West, one of the most iconic drag queens, both of them felt fortunate for the encounter. <laughs> Melissa shared the meeting on Instagram, writing, On second thought, do meet your heroes. <laughs> it's clear that Nina will be taking Melissa up on that offer, because she commented on Melissa's post, I'm so excited for breakfast. Thank you for being so absolutely incredible. In her own post, Nina wrote, It's everything I ever wanted, sisters forever. Thank you, Melissa McCarthy, for a moment I won't ever forget. Yeah, their photo op turned into a performance, of course. The two launched into an impromptu cover of sisters from the classic White Christmas. There were never such devoted sisters. I probably could have used one run through before doing it for the cameras. Never had to have a shower, oh no, sir. I'm here to keep my eye on her. Karen, Karen, thank you for this moment. We've got a movie premiering right now. She's thinking with the drag queen out front. What's happening? Oh. I won. I'm winning in this situation. I'm winning. Congratulations. What a divine moment. And another circle in the full circle of things, Nina's outfit was paying tribute to both the animated and the drag. This whole look is like looking in the cauldron and, and putting the spell on everyone, but also celebrating Divine, and Divine's legacy of inspiring this iconic Disney villain, which I'm thrilled to do tonight. I got nothing to say about that. That was just delightful. What are your thoughts? And you belong to me. <laughs>